Hello. Hello. Hello, everybody. Welcome to DRD 2016. What a wonderful feeling standing here and look at you. I'm so glad that you all came. This will be a wonderful fest. Thank you for coming. Since 12 years, we meet here in Munich to find out what's the next next. It's the DLD Uber motto. It is as much as the future as it is about the now. It's about the now. Imagine 11 years ago when there was no smartphones, no cloud, no mobile internet, no Wi-Fi. We already discussed what's the next next at DLD. 12 years ago. As you could see in the opener film, DLD stands for amazing people, for their creativity and for their business instincts. And here are some of the people that you will see again as speakers at DLD 2016. You will see we are a community. Some of you are not on this picture, sorry, but I only have six minutes to speak. And I have to say I'm very proud that we again see us, Niklas, again see us, Joanna, again see us, Oli, whomever, you will see them all. These are some of the speakers in, um, in, this, in this year. But sure, we got all a little older, a little wiser maybe, but every year we mix our around 30, it's always around 30, returning speakers with amazing DLD newbies like the audacious EU Commissioner Margarete Vestager. Welcome. Like Netflix CEO Reed Hastings, YouTube's Chief Business Officer Robert Kinchel, World founder Bobby Lowe or Chris Alcek from Asymmetrica. These are maybe companies you've never heard of, but I'm sure you will. And amazing young guys who are also came to DLD. Together we do business, but we also create, nourish, and grow a real community. The outstanding DLD ecosystem. You are all part of it. Just a few examples. At DLD 16, we are welcoming back Joanna Shields, who spoke here in 2008 about the social network Bebo. Then she came back when she was the EMEA chef of Facebook. And now she's back again this year as Baroness Shields, the UK Minister for Internet Security. Yeah. <laughs> Her focus has never changed. She's always forward thinking in business and in politics. Niklas Zenström, who sits there, is a DLD regular since 2007. He made voice over IP telephone calls available to the mass market. It was a revolution, the Skype revolution. Now he's known as Europe's investment number one champion. Jan Kuhn will be back at DLD this year. And I know that he has exciting news to share. I, I, now I share a secret. You don't know it, but I'm happy to share it. Pavel Durov will be also coming back at DLD this year. I could name many, many more. My excuses to all of you that did not get a mention now, but I only have six minutes for this speech. Taking, talking about ecosystems, sometimes it makes sense to merge and synchronize them to, a, to reach a higher goal. So I'm very happy to introduce you to my new colleague, Dominic Wichmann. He dares, he dares to jump from the very special, very traditional ecosystem of Germany, so-called quality journalism, to DLD. What a jump, I tell you. What a jump, right into chaos sometimes, Dr. Kahn. But we have a higher goal. You will see next, next of DLD soon. Together we will explore what's next, next for DLD. And you will meet Dominic in a minute. Where are you, Dominic? Here, there is Dominic.
Let's go back to the conference. What is the next, next this year for all of us? First of all, I'm sure, I'm sure it's our reality. And a reality we have to face with open eyes. Over the years, we looked at the big wave of transformation through data-driven business models, robots, drones, artificial intelligence, the blockchain, and the Internet of Things. Transformation, you all know it, has become a real buzzword. This shift towards data, cloud and mobile, is still only at the beginning. The internet permeates our lives ever more every day. According to Oxford professor Luciano Floridi, who will be speaking later today, our world is transforming into an infosphere. There are no clear boundaries anymore between online and offline. We are constantly connected through technology, and we can access information about anything we need. But the past year, more so in Europe, has added a new dimension to our reality. Besides talking about robots taking away our jobs, about data leaks or the so-called transparent human being, the Gläserne Menschen in Germany, we also have to talk about other urgent issues. Wars at our doorsteps with hundreds of thousands of thousands of refugees, inhumane terrorist attacks in Paris and Istanbul and other cities around the world reshape our reality. And they also reshape our view of the digital revolution in an unprecedented way. We can't help thinking that the digital age also has a very, very dark side. Nevertheless, I believe that digitalization and the technologies that thrive alongside are tools, mere tools, like a knife, like a pen, or like a Gutenberg printing press. They can be used to create or to be destructive. So we have to empower ourselves and use these tools constructively, also to make the world a better place. And to do that, we have to put them in context. We have to put them in context. We as individuals, we as companies or entrepreneurs have now to leave our beaten tracks. Linear thinking is important to reach a certain goal for sure. But in the world of today, in the infosphere, an interdisciplinary view and lateral thinking is the key to understanding reality and to be able to shape it, be it in our private lives or in business or the world of politics or the world of work, of course. Just a few examples. Oh, no. Um, sorry. This is the... All of these topics that we discuss here at DLD over the next couple of days, of course. That's why I have invited not just the disruptors, the technologists, the creators, and the finances of the digital world. We invited also the thinkers, the visionaries, and the activists who are able to draw a bigger picture. They are able to provide us, provide us with context for the interdisciplinary world of the 21st century. Scientists and activists, Jeremy Rifkin, Niall Ferguson, Luciano Floridi, Peter Sloterdijk, Peter Weibel, Jody Williams, Noriel Rubini, John Hagel, John Tapscott, many more. I'm very proud and happy that they are part now of the DLD ecosystem. Let's open our ears to them and also learn from each other to prepare ourselves, our businesses, and our societies for the next next. And now, my dear ecosystem, let me introduce you to my DLD chairman, Yossi Vardi, a never-ending source, a never-ending source of inspiration, inspiration, goodwill, and humor, and knowledge, and knowledge. Give me a kiss. <laughs> A never-ending source of inspiration, goodwill and humor, and good advice. I got so much good advice by you. Yossi, you told me to put a joke in my speech. I afraid, this is why you invited me. I, I'm afraid to disappoint you. I'm not good in telling jokes. I leave it to you. And just want to ask you now, 
What's the next next for you, Yossi? What the next next for me is what I've done the last 11 years. This is a very tough time slot, as I always say, in the afternoon. You remember last year, somebody fell asleep at the first row because it's after lunch. I told the guy next to him, wake him up. He looked at me and he said, you, fell, you made him fall asleep, you wake him up. <laughs> so my role, how many people heard this uh, joke from me already? <laughs> you see, I'm in the business of recycling. I have one set of jokes. But as long as you guys are polite and are laughing, I'm doing it. Though, Talma, where are you? Where? She's now <laughs> reclining her head. OK. Uh, we have a lot, of, a lot of things in the program. I'll do it fast. I need to get your adrenaline flowing. Let's start. Who is for the first time, time in DLD? Raise your hand. 35%. Who was here at any time in the past? Raise your hand. 30%. 35 plus 30, 65. 35 new, 30 old, 35 don't understand my accent. <laughs> Let's go to the next question. Countries, countries, from where are you? Scream it, scream. Israel, France, US, Antarctica, Italy, Italy, Maurizio from Italy. Nobody from Germany? Anybody from Germany? Guys, guys, you are sleeping. When I count until three, scream as, as hard as you can. One, two, three. <laughs> Not bad. And we will finish this drill by the drill we are doing every year in order to release yourself and to get you more free and to get you joking. Very important thing, when you recognize a pathetic attempt for a speaker to make you laugh when he tells an unsuccessful joke. Be cautious and laugh for his joke. When I count to three, laugh. One, two, three. <laughs> Try better. One, two, three. <laughs> OK. Now, the last thing. As Steffi said, there are two secrets for the success of DLD. Secret number one, that we are not focusing on business. If you, don't, if you want to do business, that's fine. You know, two adults can do anything in mutual consent, even they can do business. <laughs> but the idea is to expand your view, to expand your horizon. And I must uh, give uh, uh, Hubert Buda a compliment, because otherwise maybe I will not be here Next year, the success of this conference seriously is based on basically two people. Great stuff, but two people. One is Hubert Buda, which this conference reflects his wide interest, not only in business, but in thoughts, in art, in science, in health. And, and Hubert, Hubert truly is as close as one gets in this time of the civilization to a Renaissance man. And the other one, of course, is the great Steffi, who executes this vision extremely efficiently. So round of applause. <laughs> you bet. Am I, am I staying for next year as a chairman? OK, thank you. And uh, the second component, that, as Steffi said, this is a real community who gain at least one or two friends by coming to DLD? Raise your hand. Who was here in the past and didn't gain any friend? Raise your hand. <laughs> OK. So in order to enhance it, we are going to do now a few physical exercises, and then I promise you I go from the stage. Each one of you have eight people around him, two on the side, one on the back, one on the front, and four in the diagonal. Take 30 seconds, shake the hands of the, people, of the eight people around you. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you.
Hey, hey, thank you. Relax, relax. Let's, let's, let's get a little bit, let's get a little bit more intimate. Tap, tap the Israeli way, tap your, your neighbor on his back. Tap. Very good. Let's go a little bit further. Hug your neighbor. Hey, hey, not too enthusiastically, not too enthusiastically. Let's go a little bit more intimate. Give him a French, uh, how you call when you put the two? And last, forget it. Steffi, tell me, forget it, forget it. And last but not least, let's play a homage to the Eskimo. Rub your nose with your... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, enjoy the conference. It's going to be great and laugh a lot. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. It's now the 11th time that we have the DLD conference in Munich. And um, I just thought to give you some information what has happened since I retired with becoming 70 years old. That's five years from now. I fortunately found this young man, Bernie Cullen. Stand up, Bernie, come on. <laughs> this is the best thing which could happen to me. I have time playing golf and other stuff. And uh, he took over to be the CEO of the company with his uh, with the board members who are mostly sitting here. And now I look into the face of His Excellency, the Ambassador of America, United States, and I'm very happy that Marguerite Vestager. Come on, how do we pronounce you? Vestager, Vestager. Ah, so uh, welcome here. It's a tough job, an interesting job, one of the most. Uh, Spannenden, which exists in, in Europe for the moment being. And uh, let me give you some more information about my company. When I um, left the position of a CEO and Khan took over, in these five years he developed uh, our revenues in the digital world to 1.200 million uh, dollars. And um, it's an incredible success. We came forward on many, many fields on uh, Focus Online, for instance, probably the, the greatest uh, target site on the, on the web. And, um, and more than 40% of the working people in my company are now related to the web. And that's, uh, that's a lot. Um, so, when Steffi came to me in the middle of summer and we talked about what could be the next big issue for, for uh, DLD, we both get along. Dominic was not, has not joined us in those days to put one phrase, life in the infosphere. And, I, you know, I met Floridi, who is on his way here, there's snow in, 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 in England, too, so we have a uh, little problem with the transportation. So I met Floridi in 19, no, in 2014 at the uh, university about the infosphere, and I was fascinated because it's, it's so easy, you know? You all breathe, and, you, and then someone comes and say, says to you, hey, this is the atmosphere. That's okay, but now you have a lot of tools and devices which join you with the infosphere. And the infosphere is 
the next big thing, and our conference will have the Infosphere today at 6 o'clock. And before we have Jeremy Rifkin about how does this means, this third revolution. And many of you are going to Davos, and my friend Klaus Schwab came up with a new headline called The Fourth Revolution, the Infosphere. So this is a very, I mean, you really can feel it, this new world which is, has always been our subject at the DLD, to show up these, um, this uh, uh, new world. Uh, concerning my company and what Cullen and me are, are deciding, we are creating new products for this infosphere. And these new products consist mostly out of data, algorithm, and, and your business idea, which has a lot to do with efficiency. And so we are uh, building new products. And I hope uh, that now it's uh, 1.2 that we can go forward and forward and combine traditional media, which is still strong, doing 500 million in, in, in analog media with a very high profit rate. I mean, if, you do, if you do traditional media well, you have an incredible profit rate. But, uh, you know, you can combine this wonderfully. So this has been uh, all I wanted to say to you. I wish the conference an interesting uh, verlauf. Uh, good weather, a lot of snow, because Munich is so nice with the snow, you know. It's a total new Munich uh, we have this year. And uh, the conference is open. Dominic, come to me. And we have a new face in town. Come here. He was... Thank you very much. Dominik was editor-in-chief of Süddeutsche Zeitung, magazine, and now at Stern. I'm happy that you joined the company. I'm happy too. Thank you very much. Thank you for your kind words, Mr. Hugo Gorda. Dear DLD community, dear friends, thank you very much. And um, as you have heard, this uh, year is particularly special for me because it's the first year I'm here not as a guest as in the last 10 years, but as um, a member of this uh, marvelous team who has the privilege to organize and to set up all this here. And so thank you very much to the team who is working like, like crazy within the last weeks and nights and days. So thank you very much. And I think it's time for an applause for all the people you don't see. If you were to ask me what my tasks have been until now, I would firstly say that it has been to learn from Steffi, to learn quite a bit. So thank you a lot, Steffi. In addition, we both hope to further develop and grow the brand DLD in the future. Because a brand called Digital Life Design, so that's what DLD stands for, stands for such, so many more things than just a conference like this. So DLD tries to contribute to the understanding of the times we're living in. And we hope to accomplish this not only on this stage, but also through other mediums hereafter. So therefore, the DLD will continue to continue to evolve into a true media brand within the next years. But due to the great success of the DLD conference, there will be even more DLD conferences this year. So we're going to have the New York conference in May. We're going to have a June conference in Munich for two days. And of course, we're going to have again our conference in Tel Aviv, which is more like a festival and which has been gorgeous last year. I don't know who has been to the Tel Aviv uh, <laughs> Tel Aviv. So that was amazing. There were about, you'll see how many people were there, 8,000 8, participants or? So 10,000 Israelis and 2,700 20, people from all over the world who came to Israel. Yeah, 10,000 people because it was free. It was so the, free okay, he said there were 10,000 Israeli because it was free. And uh, <laughs> it was for pay, we it, would have 50. Okay, if it was for pay, if it were for pay, they would have had 50. No, it was gorgeous. <laughs> it was a gorgeous festival. So the next time, end of September, I think September 25th, Yossi and Ruti and Olia are organizing this again, and it's really worth a trip. So 
in addition to that, we have one more message particularly important for us, and that is that DLD is coming to Brussels this year. Under the title DLD Europe, we will be hosting our very first conference there on September 5th in the Belgium capital. We do this because we believe that there is an urgent need to talk about the topic of Europe once again with vision and with confidence, and not only about its crisis. Europe, in our opinion, is more than just the sum of its member states. Europe is more than raising nationalism again. It's more than building fences. It's more than bureaucracy, and it's more than dissent among its member states. We strongly believe in Europe, and therefore, ladies and gentlemen, we are very happy and feel very honored by the presence of our first speaker. If there is one word that is sort of a buzzword these days, it's probably the word disruption. Probably the more interesting word, though, when it comes to a description of what is really going on out there, is the word competition. For we all witness an enormous amount of competition these days between old and new, between digital and non-digital, between big corporations and small new startups that try, that try to get into the market, between new ideas and old fears, and unfortunately also the other way around, between old ideas and new fears. Within this heated atmosphere, our speaker stands for fairness, because fair competition is in the interest of customers and consumers alike, and is therefore one of the main columns upon which the European Union is built on. As European Commissioner for Competition, Margarete Vestager from Denmark is at the very center of the most important EU, dishes, EU decisions, ranging from TTIP to antitrust charges against companies we don't mention now, and uh, investigations into the hex affairs of other companies we don't mention now. Mrs. Vestaya is always in the heart of those things. So we are very proud to welcome here today as our keynote speaker of this year's DLD conference in Munich, and I would like to ask you for a big round of applause for Margarete Vestaya. Applause 